obesity was already a part of my life at a very young age. When it came to food, I really would go ahead and eat whatever I wanted. As I became a teenager, uh, you get into the social scene, you go out with your friends, there's a lot of fast foods, and you eat like a typical teenager. You don't do what is done in the home when you're out on your own, you do what your friends do. When I started gaining weight, I was young, and uh, I very quickly became aware of the fact that I was gaining weight, and it really kind of puts you into a shell. It makes it harder for you to, uh, to express yourself with other people, your self-esteem goes down, and you're always afraid that people are gonna make fun of you. When I was a child, I was very much aware of what good foods were. I might not have chosen to eat them, but because of the way my mother ate, we, we were aware that there was a difference. The problem of childhood obesity is huge. It's just growing, and I'm very glad to see that people are starting to become more aware of it. It's like everywhere you look, every time you go to a mall, I am so aware of young children walking around that are way too much overweight. And I look at the parents and I, I wonder why don't they see that? Why don't they understand what they've created or what's going to happen to these kids as they get into middle school and as they get into high school and what health problems that they're gonna have. It's just very sad. With what I know now about eating and health, if I knew that when I was younger, I would have taken the right choices. I wouldn't have had so much fast food. I would have eaten the proper portion controls and I would have hoped to have a, uh, a more normal uh, teenage life. And I, that's something you can't get back. Almost every week I would pick up a magazine and I would see a headline that talked about lose 10 pounds in seven days or diet for two weeks, and lose all this weight. And when you read the article, it always sounded like, you know, this is a quick fix and this will do it. So I tried just about every one that I read about. I would say that I tried over 20 different weight loss programs and um, they all were short fixes. They weren't long term. What I learned is that you really have to dedicate yourself to a life change for it to work. When you get into a program and you see that it works and then time goes on and the weight comes back, it just frustrates you. When you feel that you've failed at something, you're an emotional eater, you respond by eating and you eat more and there are many times that I'd say I lost weight, gained that weight plus additional weight. So um, it was very frustrating. What I found was I needed, I needed a discipline uh, assistance with this. So what I found in order for it to actually work a little bit longer than two weeks, I had to go into a weight loss program that was something that I would attend a meeting every week. I would have somebody that would educate me in how to eat healthier and that I would be weighed in. To me, that was like an incentive. If I knew I had to get on a scale and I had to stand in front of somebody and see whether I was successful or failed that week, it gave me a huge incentive to stay on that program. And I was successful for the time that I stayed in that organized program. Obviously, once you have weight loss surgery and you're successful in losing the weight, people ask, what's going to happen to my skin? And uh, I honestly have to tell them that this, the skin hangs down. You lose that much weight, I lost over 100 pounds the skin's gonna, gravity's gonna take it down, and it, it does. So it becomes like the last part of your journey. In, in my situation with the excess skin, uh, I decided to have cosmetic surgery to remove the skin. But when I went and interviewed with different plastic surgeons, they talked about the fact that I'm a fairly petite person. Uh, that's hard to get used to hearing to begin with because I see myself as a fat person. But once I lost the weight, I was smaller. So they felt that the safest way to do it was to stage it in two stages for me. It was so nice to be able to go to a mall and go into a normal store and buy clothes that were uh, fashionable. Um, I'm always, had always been in Fashion Bug Plus, um, Dress Barn Women, uh, couldn't buy anything from the trendier stores because they didn't have sizes big enough. So it was kind of like being a kid in a candy store and shopping became a new hobby. 
having the post um, post weight loss surgery and doing the cosmetic surgery to me I guess because I've been through it is the most logical step because it just becomes it helps with your self-image and your self-esteem I mean you've done so much work because you work at this every day to lose the weight you want to finish it off and you want to complete that